Hey, welcome hey. the visitor. All Come right. on in. So this is the shop. Yes. Yep, this is Visitor Visitor HQ. So here we got a full display case full of uh, Dune Shores and Dune Shore Shallows. So this one is uh, the newer one that I had seen you had in district time. Very, very cool design. I like the, um, here, you get that? Yeah. Yeah, this is the Dune Shore Golden Beach. I like the strap with this one. Yeah. Very creative. So these Dune Shores all have a curved case back that protrudes a little bit. So when we did this bun strap, we actually made a cut so that that case back just sits flush. Yeah, so it makes it wear better, but it also gives you the access with a bun strap style, but still see the uh, display case back. Very cool. Strap was made by D-Lugs. Oh, it's a D-Lugs, okay. Yeah, super, super nice leather, and obviously all custom cut to the profile of, of the Dune Shore. That is awesome. Now, will you offer that strap independently of the watch yet? Uh, not, no. Th this one right now with the gold stitching is exclusive to the Golden Beach. I think I will do eventually some other versions that'll be available independently. Um, but th those haven't been, uh, haven't come out yet. That's awesome. And then there's the, the yep. orange one. Yep. That's actually what I'm wearing even. There's, yep, the Rob. <laughs> <laughs> and then we've got, uh, yeah, this is, this is Sharkside Gray. It's like a warm gray. It has a little bit more red in it than blue. Fun story, this dial actually took six months more to make than all the other dials for the Dune Shore. Like for whatever, so these dials are all uh, enamel painted and then they get, uh, so like they get painted, fired in an oven and polished and all that affects like the final color values. For whatever reason, gray is just a particularly tough color to hit and we kept kept missing the rgb values and it took interesting took six months to get it so what'd you right. do with all the failed dials uh they're probably back in my inventory somewhere honestly i don't think i yeah just just in some folder and then this is the uh iron jade which is like a darker military green oh yeah you can kind of pick it up there okay so it's yeah. a very dark od green almost yeah these the, but the way these dials are finished again with like the the enamel paint or what I uh, like to call like a wet ink look. Okay. Uh, Which is appropriate because of the, 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 the nib style yep. hands. And then the black is obviously just super black. And what did you use for the coating on the case? DLC. It is DLC. So yep. it'll, it'll hold up very well to yep. some uh, light abuse. DLC buckle as well. And the buckles, everything is, everything that I can design myself, I do. So the buckles are the same shape as the case, the same faceted cushion shape. Excellent. Um, the strap is also totally unique, uh, has visitor there, but the cool thing is the sides of the strap twist, just like the sides oh, of nice. a boat. Yeah. Um, and it has like the strakes on top. Now I did wear mine when I first got it. I did put it on with the rubber strap. Yeah. But then I also picked up, and we'll see it over on the other side, the blue ostrich strap, that, which oh, yeah. is also a very cool leather strap option for these. Um, your straps are great. Thank you very much. They pair up really nice with the watches. So this is, yeah, this is a Dune Shore uh, Larkspur. Um, if we want to walk under the chandelier here, this, this blue will really light up. Okay, here, let me take it. Oh yeah, that definitely helps. So if you're into blue dials, this one's definitely gonna work. The date wheels also, also loomed, yeah, which is very fun. So the loom on all of these are fantastic. I think most of it is some sort of C3 type loom. Yeah, that, those, those guys have BGW-9, oh, it's BGW9. On, the, on the polished cases. Okay. And the divers have C3. Yeah, oh, yeah. then you can see the ostrich strap, obviously. Yep. This, is a, this is like a black colored one though. It, it, it is actually navy, it's just, oh, it's just, it's really just dark. Uh, older. <laughs> okay. it's, been a, it's been a press piece for a long time, so okay. I think it's just darkened up. Here's a trunk full of straps. So if you come into the visitor showroom, you can not only pick from my standard straps, but also any of the one-offs that I've made over the years. Oh, that's really so cool. And that would be exclusive to being on site? Yeah. Coming, yeah, coming are, here directly? Yeah, these are just, you know, when I'm designing a new watch, I'll, I'll usually commission a lot of different straps and not all of them make it to the finish line. So That's awesome. Not bad over here. 
And then let's see here. Oh, we gotta check out. What do you call that dial color? This is amaranth. Amaranth. So, yeah, but it's like uh, cherry, I guess. It's it's a little bit. I mean, it's certainly more pink than salmon. So. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's a nice color. I mean, the other one that's iconic would be for the for the Dune Shore line is uh, obviously this the beach, yeah, that beach color, which is you know kind of like a, a sand beach colored dial. Mm -hmm. So that one works really cool as well. And the the amaranth also comes in a in a black case, which is what oh. I I have on. That pair is really good too. Yep. Nice. So if you're looking for a black DLC case with a pink dial, this is there's not a lot of choices out there. No, you got <laughs> you kind of cornered the market in that. Yeah. One. And then of course, I mean, I, you can't go wrong with a white dial. Yeah. That was the Linden I have and that or had, and then this is the Dune Shore version of it. And then what color is that dial? That is the blue slate, which okay. again is this is like a blue with more gray in it. Okay. Um, that was one of the original colors. So the original oh, okay. original colors for the Dune Shore were blue slate beach and uh, forest or the green nice and then i want to show yeah i mean for this display is really cool as well so this kind of shows and I'll, I'll go around the back side and show it too but so these are clippings of your original uh drawings yep right yeah, this is this is like my my sketch to steel display so down at the base level we have sort of yeah just snippets from my notebook and various inspirational items uh, when I do a drawing of a watch that I like, I'll, I'll go ahead and build it in 3D in CAD. So that's um, what we're seeing on the second level here is the, the 3D prints. 3D renders, yep. And then, yeah, then if I if I like it on the computer, then it'll move on to 3D printing. If I still like it in physical space, then it moves on to engineering drawings. And then, yeah, finding people to actually like make the, make the components. There's the very elusive, much sought after park. <laughs> Vail Park. Vail Park. Yeah, yep. With the multi-piece case, the back opens up to display the movement. Yeah. There's the Linden the style Linden, that I Linden regret Linden. selling. And <laughs> if anyone has a one of those that they want to hook me up with, let me know. I would definitely take that off your hands. But yeah, you can see like here's like here's the Linden 3D print, right? Okay. So, so like, that's the you 3D. can kind of see the progression, right? From yeah. over here, you have like the the original Linden renders, CAD renders, and then the 3D print, and then the final final case piece. And here's the here's the technical drawings for the Linden. Yeah, so if anybody wants to take that information and make <laughs> their own, I'm no, just kidding. <laughs> then of course, yeah, you know, we can hang out over here, have a yeah. drink. So when you like a watch, yeah, we can pull it, come sit down, you know, tr try everything on, and uh, happy to, yeah, get an espresso. And then while I'm assembling your watch, if you want, you can grab a book and head up to the cafe and, and hang out. There's a little cafe region up there. Very cool space. Well, thanks for the tour. I appreciate it. Absolutely, Rob. Thanks for coming by. Yep.